So I feel like we should have a little chat. I've noticed a couple comments about my weight and I was like, dang, it's 2024. Are we still commenting on weight? But here we are. I bet you think that I should calm down. Okay, another day, another thrift store. So I decided to go to the thrift store to look for some unique like home things. You guys know I'm addicted to the thrift store. And also I never realized how intense I look when I'm there. I regret not getting this little picture. I thought it was so cute. And then I saw these prints, which now I'm like, these are not cute. But when I was there, I had this whole vision um, because I'm doing several gallery walls in my home, which I'll share with you guys. But I don't know why I thought these were cute. And then I decided they weren't cute. Okay, I do regret not getting these. How cute are they? I feel like they look so expensive, so high-end and really cute styled on a shelf, but then I didn't get them. Um, and then I checked them in section. Pro tip, always check them in section. They have really cute stuff. I found this shirt that I styled. Um, follow me on Instagram if you're not, so you can see how I styled it. And then Audrey found this Hello Kitty CD player. She's all about CD players. She calls them vintage. <laughs> so we decided to come to the library after school today. <laughs> I love this little library so much. <laughs> Not everyone was in the mood to come to the library. <laughs> okay, so first you're gonna do the tomatoes. So we're just gonna do this. You're just gonna cut it in half. Cutting. While he's doing that, I'll show you guys what I got from the thrift store. I didn't actually do too much damage today, so I got get these cute teaspoons. I obviously need to wash them. I will, but look how cute. They're so fun. I love how ornate they are, and this is a bon appetit. I don't know. I'm just a sucker for cute things like that. And then I needed another one of these Pyrex things. Like, I don't know. I just like very simple things like this. And why spend all the money when you can buy at the thrift store? I think this was like a dollar. And then because I'm a sucker for bowls, I had to get another bowl. This bowl is just so cute. I just love bowls. I'm done. You done? Okay. <gasps> that looks fantastic. Okay, so what we're gonna do now for our salad is we're gonna start out by adding some olive oil and balsamic in there. So first you're gonna pour a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the bowl. Because we're gonna make our little dressing. Oh, that's good. A little bit and of then fish. we're gonna use some balsamic. We're going to just pour a little bit of that in there. You can squeeze this out. Just do a little. There you go, that's good. Salt and pepper. So here's our salt. Where did I put the pepper at? Why don't I remember where I put the pepper? Oh, it's in there? Ha! I'm glad you know where it is. I don't remember where I put it. These are all just. Oh, those are seasonings. I'm looking for pepper. I found it. Okay, I found it. I found chili pepper. Okay, but we don't need that this time. So you're going to do a little pinch of salt. A little a little wrist flick of the salt. And your hands are washed. Yep. <laughs> you're so cute. You want to do one more? Just a little, a little pinch. Yes. Yes. You have to have a voice that sounds like that. Yes. I'm, I've learned that from a video. <laughs> you learned from a video. And now we're going to do a little bit of pepper in there. Just a little. Yeah, just a, a little. We don't want it too peppery. There we, go. there we go. Now we're gonna add our spinach in there and we're gonna toss yes, it. I'm gonna cut it out. Actually, we're not gonna toss it yet until we're ready to eat some of the salad since you helped make it. Yes. <laughs> okay, now yeah. pour the tomatoes and we won't toss it till we're ready to. Uh, whoops, that's okay. Oops. All the ingredients in there. That looks great, buddy. You wanna go ahead and put that on the table? I think you got it nice, it's nice and mixed. It looks like it has all the balsamic and the olive oil. You can put that in, in the so I have absolutely been loving my one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with you guys. I put up my camera to see what I look like on these sessions and I'm such a dork, but I have so much fun. So if you're interested in growing and learning more about content creation, YouTube, or just general life coaching, head to the description box and book a session with me. I'm loving this, you guys. This is a behind the scenes look of me creating content. Yes, I still have boxes I need to unpack. We'll talk about that later. Um, but yeah, this is where I just create. I usually turn music on and it's sort of wild, but it's a really Really good time. So I feel like we should have a little chat. I've noticed a couple comments about my weight and I was like, dang, it's 2024. Are we still commenti commenting on weight? 
but here we are. So I've seen a couple comments of people are like, oh my God, you're so thin, are you okay? And I, I really do appreciate the concern, but it's funny to me because I'm actually the healthiest I've ever been right now. So for me, I am a petite person. If you've met me in person, you know I'm a small, four, five, two, I'm a petite person. I've always been on the smaller side. Um, obviously having kids, you know, your weight fluctuates here and there. But the interesting thing is I am the healthiest I've ever been right now. And I think it's because my mental shift and my mental change. So much of weight and health and wellness is connected to your mental health. And for me, not that I ever was overweight. I think I was always the weight that I needed to be whenever I needed to be it. That's how I feel about my body. And I embrace every part of, you know, that journey. But I feel like for me, I wasn't necessarily in the happiest place. And I think that my weight reflected that, you know, um, when you're up late at night, you don't sleep well. Uh, I don't know. I lost weight when my life got happier. <laughs> So I wasn't really trying to lose weight. I am not in a, in a place where I'm trying to actively stay a certain size. Literally don't think about it. Um, I enjoy going to bar method and moving my body a couple times a week. I eat what I want. I don't restrict myself. Um, but genuinely, I feel so happy. And I think that that has helped me um, just be the best that I can. Also, and this is kind of funny, I don't drink anymore. And I feel like that made me lose weight. And I don't know if, I guess maybe I drank more than I realized. But I think when I stopped drinking, I just automatically stopped losing weight because there's a lot of calories in alcohol. Nothing against drinking, not saying it's bad if you drink. But uh, for me, like I mentioned in the last vlog, I just no longer drink. It wasn't serving me anymore. I'm gonna do Whoa. <laughs> this is my tripod because I'm so lazy. Something funny about me. I have so many tripods, but half the time I will end up using like a cereal box or random candle instead of using the tripod we're gonna have a movie night also audrey and i were at the grocery store got this giant cookie to bake i always feel like my neighbors are watching me vlog they're probably like what is she doing anyway um we got this giant cookie so we're gonna bake this and watch a movie tonight i'm so jazzed but before that i was invited to a really exclusive restaurant this, this restaurant is so exclusive that it there's been reservations for like weeks. And I got into this restaurant and I'm so jazzed. I never get into exclusive things like this ever. Like this never happens for me. Normally I'm the one that misses out. But I got a special invite so we're gonna go and I'm gonna take you guys with me. I heard the menu is exquisite. I heard the menu is like um, out of control. Hi. I don't have a reservation. Oh, it's exclusive. Wow. It's so exclusive that they don't actually speak. Oh, they don't allow pets either. No pets are allowed. No pets are allowed. No pets are allowed. Oh, pets are allowed. Okay. Um, are, um okay. Wow. <gasps> mm. I didn't need to bring my, my own mocktail. Look at this. No, okay. What is this magnificent um, feast? So we call this the top, like, so let's see, are you new here? I am new here, yeah. We call this the new um, dessert. So this is like oh. a dinner food that if anybody came here first and at night, we oh. get this. This is like the night special. Okay, tell me about this plate. This looks so amazing. We got hot sauce chicken strips. <gasps> we hot, got wait, hot sauce chicken strips? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, we got some toast with some eggs. Toast with eggs. Um, crackers with butter. Crackers with butter. This is a new invention. Um. Wow. Crackers some with butter. Cheesy chips. Cheesy. Is this the cheesy chips? No, right there by right there. Oh, this is the cheesy chips. No, right here. Oh, oh. I didn't even and see that. We Guys. got the really crunchy cheesy mm. fries. Oh, and they come in this cute little container. <gasps> and also some oh my hot tea. And you know I love hot tea. You know what? Eating out is overrated, and this restaurant is so unique. I have never had crackers, butter with crackers. Have you ever had butter crackers? Have you? This is a, de this is a delicacy. You try. I am. I'm going to eat it.